Yeah, most of the students I've been meeting would like to live on their own after graduating, but they are, many of them, realistic what will likely happen after receiving their degree. I'm still with my parents right now. But. NC State student Colton Outlaw is just one Gen Zer finding ways to save wherever he can and opting not to live on campus. Being in school, I mean, it costs a lot of money to come up here and go back and forth, of course. A new survey by the Harris Poll finding more than half of those in the 18 to 25 age group are staying home with their parents because of the economic climate. Well, oh, my graduate. doors are wide open. This parent loving the idea of her son hanging around a little longer, but also worries his generation will have a tougher time purchasing a place of their own. It's soaring home prices make it impossible for younger people to buy homes, you know, department rents, people are moving out of the cities into the suburbs because they can't afford to live you know, in a, the urban community. Mortgage rates are up as the Federal Reserve continues, trying to get the inflation rate under control. It currently sits at 7.7%. Their income has been just hammered by high prices, rising inflation. Uh, which is hammering everyone because uh, wages and salaries had not kept up with the increase in prices. The same survey also looking into Americans' overall spending habits. It's showing 28% say record high inflation has caused them to swipe their credit cards more often, and roughly 56% typically pay all of their bills on time. These students hoping the economy is far more stable by the time they enter the workforce. It's all skyrocketed right now. I hope it don't get no worse than it is right no. now. So I asked an economist his advice for Gen Zers. He is recommending they don't hold out for that perfect dream job. He says it's better to take whatever you can and get in somewhere in case there is uh, a round of hiring freezes six months from now. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And make sure to follow your mom and dad's rules when you're back in the house. <laughs> It'll make for a more peaceful situation. Elena, thanks.